I'm God Flogger, and this video is about removing In God We Trust from U.S. currency. I'm going to assume for this video that you're open to considering various viewpoints, that you care about logical reasoning, and you care about the United States Constitution. In God We Trust has not always been on U.S. currency. It was only added by law to all currency in 1957 during the time of the Red Scare and McCarthyism and fear about atheist communist Russia. Uh, what that means is that for the first 181 years of United States history, the United States did just fine without plastering In God We Trust over all of the currency. The unofficial motto during the majority of U.S. history was E Pluribus Unum, which means out of many ones. So out of many states comes one country, out of many people come one nation. Uh, it was a very uniting term rather than put throwing religion in, which is divisive. So why should we remove it? Number one, this is a very easy bit of activism. So for free thinkers, atheists, agnostics, polytheists, you know, this is something that anyone can do. You may think, well, boy, not you can't do everything to change the entire world, but this is a small token something that really anyone with a couple of bucks in their pocket you know, can, uh, can do this. It's a way to support the U.S. Constitution and support the separation of church and state, which is enshrined within the U.S. Constitution. And imagine the effect. You may think, well, how many dollars passed through my pocket? Um, however, when you, if you were to make this change on your currency, a lot of that is going to stay in circulation for years, and it's going to change hands potentially hundreds and hundreds of times. So you may, if you changed all your currency once a week, once a month, into having the word God crossed out, chances are that's going to keep floating around for years and years and years. And before long, even 2% of the population could, could absolutely cause 10%, 25%, a third of all, you know, of all money to have the phrase God crossed out on the currency. And imagine what the effect would be. Imagine now lots of people will you know, come across a dollar bill that has that crossed off, and they'll stop and think, wow, not everybody thinks the way my pastor tells me to think in, in trusting in God or that there is a God. Some people are doubting this. Let me go learn more. Let me read more. Let me think more. Let me consider what's true and not true, what there's evidence for, not evidence for. Um, or even you may get to a point where uh, people would say, boy, it doesn't shake my faith in religion in any way, shape, or form, but I really hate the idea that I'm carrying around money in my pocket that has the word God crossed off in this uh, in this blatant uh, show of disrespect to this idea of the deity. Um, and if I was religious, I would say, boy, I don't want I don't want my God's you know name being crossed out. Um, let's just get it off there altogether, where the atheists or whoever else can't uh, be defacing the name of my God. And even if you're religious, there are some reasons why you wouldn't want the God. We, in God we trust on your money. First of all, it's sacrilegious. It's irrever irreverent um, you know, to be mixing your God and your money. Um, if you think about it, Jesus threw the money changers out of the temple. Many pastors or preachers will preach that money is the root of all evil. And having in God we trust in this rote way, which some people would consider non-religious, so although I think that's a little bit uh, ridiculous and insulting to religion, um, you know, it basically says, well, we're going to make God so rote and such a government function that it's not actually religious anymore. I think it insults you know, religion and the citizenry. So the other thing is that many of you want, you know, or say you want small government, um, and this is an example where the government really should have no authority to tell you to trust in gods, how many gods to trust in, um, how to refer to the god as God or Allah or you know, whatever else, uh, flying spaghetti monster. And the government has no authority to tell you any of these things, and easily enough could just remove it from the currency or not put it on the currency and get out of the religion business. So how do you go about crossing this out? Well, I would suggest not crossing out the entire phrase. Some people just put a big black, black line across the entire phrase. Then you can't even see what's there. Nobody even knows what's missing or it just looks like some, some stray line that somebody put. I think it is way, way, way more emphatic to just cross out the word God, as shown here in the upper right corner. Put a big old red circle around it with a permanent marker and you know, put a slash line diagonally right through the word God. That's going to emphatically and clearly show that the God part was the offensive part about that phrase. Uh, that 
you know, not all of us trust in God. We don't trust in God. We don't even believe that there is such a God uh, who has anything to do with I intervening in our nation or our, our day-to-day -day lives. So, I mean, other people use uh, stamps or stampers, uh, as you can see here, uh, with a stamp that says, you know, federal endorsement of a deity or religion violates the United States Constitution. If you have a stamp or you want to buy a stamp, I say go for it. Fantastic. Um, but I would say for 99% of us, it's just really, really keep it simple, have it easy, grab a red marker, uh, and go to town. Um, but again, if you have a stamp or want to get a stamp, fantastic. Go for that. You know, as well, if that's uh, you know so uh, choosing for yourself. Now, next question: Some people will ask, is is it legal? Well, that really depends upon how you read the law. Mostly, you have to have intent to render the bill unfit according to the law. And this is from Title Eight, Title Eighteen, Section Three Thirty Three of the United States Code, that says if you mutilate or deface or defigure U.S. currency with the intent to render it unfit to be reissued or reused, then that's illegal. Um, here, what I'm suggesting is that this be done in such a way that it in no way makes the currency unfit to be reissued or reused. In fact, the entire purpose of this is for it to be reissued and reused as many times as possible. If you're doing this in a way that you're um, ripping up the bill or you're or you're covering so much of the bill that nobody can read it anymore, or they can't tell, what, you know, or you're making it ambiguous whether it's one dollar or ten dollar or anything like that. I am absolutely not suggesting you do that. That would probably be very illegal. Um, but really, just putting a red circle and a slash through God does not in any way make the bill uh, unfit to be reused. So those are my thoughts on removing In God We Trust from U.S. money. Um, I hope you'll take this into consideration. I would love to see a mass movement along these lines. If you're interested in these kinds of videos, feel free to click up above to subscribe, rate this, uh, rate this video, put your comments or counter comments down below. I look forward to reading them. And feel free to share this video anywhere you like.